what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Donald Trump, your president, said that he do believe that North Korea's president, Kim Jong-un, will follow through with his agreement to denuclearize North Korea, adding that if he doesn't, then he'll never admit that he was wrong. He said he'll never admit he's wrong. He also said that he'll think of something. He'll make up some kind of excuse. Yep, that pretty much sums up his administration. We've been telling y'all that's all he's been doing. Well, if you're watching this video, then more than likely you already know. You hip to the game that they've been running. But some of you who are going just who, who are on here for the first time watching this video, watching me for the first time, you don't know. And then the others who come to troll, you know me very well. And you come to get your daily dose of hate. And I look forward to obliging you. So y'all try to act like Donald Trump is not scum of the earth. Try to act like he's smart. Everything he does, he try to act like he's smart. <laughs> like anything he does. Like meeting with um, Kim Jong-un. Oh, he's great. He's the president. He's, he, you know, that's, what, that's what a leader does. You know, you sit down and you talk out your differences. Oh, yeah? You don't say that shit when the police are out here killing people. You don't talk about de-escalating things. You know, you make up excuses. Well, you know, he should have complied. He should have showed his hands. Well, the cop didn't know. The whole cop only has a split second to make a decision. Well, he had a record. Well, you know, he stole a candy bar out of the store when he was four years old. Yeah, I know that was 40 years ago, but, you know, he's a criminal. I got every excuse in the book. Anything to shape the narrative. Whatever Trump does is okay, even if for years he told everybody else that someone else was a traitor for wanting to just talk to a dictator. He went and sat with the dictator. Now, there's no surprise that Donald Trump is the first sitting U.S. president to ever do that because he's the first sitting U.S. president to do a lot of dumb shit. This falls right in line. Him meeting with Kim Jong-un ain't no big deal, man. It ain't no big deal because Kim Jong-un wasn't going to do anything anyway. He wasn't going to let nothing pop off. And Trump wasn't going to do anything. Trump wasn't going to do anything because big brother China sitting over there like, I wish you would touch North Korea. I wish you. you know how you, when you were growing up and, you know, you could peep out the door or something or, you, you know, you, you're off to the side and somebody acting like they want to put hands on your little brother or your little sister or something. You're like, yeah, I wish you would. Yeah, I'm going to beat the brakes off your ass. That's China. <laughs> and so North Korea wasn't going to do anything because... They're too small. It wouldn't, it wouldn't take long at all for them to get wiped. But, of course, they know the implications because China would have to enter the war, any war between the U.S. and North Korea. China would have to get down because North Korea serves as a buffer for China between the United States. See, China gets... North Korea to do a lot of its bidding and China play dumb. They sit back and play dumb. But North Korea, a lot of the rhetoric coming from North Korea is really approved by China. Because China really don't quite step kept. China don't like America either. In fact, almost no country, not even our allies, not even France, Canada, they don't like America because America is bullies. America is a bully and America is arrogant. And it ain't necessarily because of America's success uh, financially. 
it's because of the arrogance and the bullying, the colonization, historically. That's why people don't like America. That's why those people up in the Middle East don't like America. Because America likes to invade, take over, murder, you know, do all of that stuff. That's the truth. Now, some people don't like hearing that because they live in America. And, and it's kind of like if you say something to a person, even though you might be saying something, you might be critical of somebody and the shoe does fit. Some people don't like putting that shoe on. So, you know, some people won't walk around barefooted. You know, but any shoe but that shoe. So, a lot of hypocrisy going on. Just like Donald Trump won't ever admit that he's a bigot, same thing. It's like, I'll never admit it. I mean, he won't admit it publicly. Well, hell, he actually has admitted it publicly. He just hasn't just straight up said the words, yes, I am a bigot. But he proves that he's a bigot time and time again by siding with certain type of groups, like he never ever denounced the KKK's endorsement of him. He said that there were good people on both sides when the white supremacist was out in Charlottesville, Virginia, uh, running over people. And you know, just time, y'all know what he said, time and time and time again, he says a lot of racist things. So that's his game though, y'all. He will never admit when he's wrong. That's what that dude who was the ghostwriter for his book, well, all four of his books said. He said, Trump will never admit that he's wrong. And if anybody tries to tell him he's wrong, he loses it. So that's his game. But he's getting more bolder because he knows nobody's going to do anything about it. He knows that he has a fan base that is law to him to a fault. They don't give a damn what he does. They're gonna stick by him no matter what. So he knows that he can say whatever he wants to say and ain't nobody gonna do anything about it. So, hell, why not just be who he is? Many times he's been who he is and he's had advisors and stuff come to him and say, hey man, you, you can't, uh, Mr. President, uh, you can't say that, uh, Cheeto man. Uh, you can't do that, Cheeto man. Uh, I, I told you not to call me Cheeto man. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. President. It's just that your breath smells like Cheetos. And that's the first thing that comes to my mind when I'm talking to you. Okay, well, just knock it off for right now. Let me do this interview and bullshit the American people right quick. Where's the teleprompter? <laughs> Man, you got to be a real dumbass to still be supporting Donald Trump. I mean, a real bona fide dumbass. I know you feel like I'm picking on you. I'm talking about the Trump supporters. You feel like I'm picking on you. But how could you support somebody like that? He telling you straight up. Y'all make all kind of excuses for him, but he just told you straight up. Well, if I am wrong, I'll never admit it, and I'll just make up an excuse. What president in the history of America has ever let something like that out of their mouth, even if they were thinking it? Who says something like that? The psychopath, the sociopath, the crazy man, Adolf Hitler, the demander and thief, Donald Trump. Donald Trump is a drunk version of a sober person. Think about what I'm saying. It was Obama's fault for not warning me about North Korea being dishonest and going back on their word. That's Donald Trump about six months from now. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah.